Growing up, I always heard about this big, fantastic place in Pennsylvania called Horseshoe Curve. You have the mountains on either side of you, which is just lush green Pennsylvania woods. And then down below is the Altoona water supply. In a good, clear day, you can see for miles. When you hear that train coming up there at number eight, pulling 10,000 tons of stuff behind it, with another set of engines behind it, just giving it all it has, and it shakes the ground when you go by it. You have to be in awe by that, and you've got to love it. Construction on the curve started in 1850. This was done at a time that there was no machinery. It was built all by hand, you know, horse and wagon, picks and shovels, probably some dynamite. Hundreds of Pennsylvania Railroad employees filled in the two ravines and shaved the face of the mountain so that they could lay track and the curve was born. Horseshoe Curve is probably one of, if not the busiest section of the track on the Norfolk Southern System. It's basically the, the main route between Chicago and the East Coast. So pretty much everything east and west goes through there. In fact, during World War II, because of the importance of Horseshoe Curve and the, what was being sent over, both from a troop standpoint and from a material standpoint, it was targeted by Germany to be blown up. Fortunately, they were discovered before they could uh, carry that out. There are some days you get a train that might be 12,000 feet long. It's two and a half miles. You can't see the other end of the train. Imagine what that looks like in the sky, seeing something that long stretched around that curve like that through all them curvatures and stuff. It's got to be incredible. I love it every day I go around it. Today we run it, what, six, seven, eight times? I could have run around it 20 more times if you wanted to. 